Hi everybody, my name is Arthur and welcome to another Pixelpad tutorial. We are coding our Clash Royale light game. And last class, we added a attack damage to the units and a life to the castles. And then when the units touch the castle, you can see the life going down here, right? So we already have some sort of battle happening here. But I want to improve that because I don't want to keep seeing the life of the castles uh, in the console window. Instead, I want to see them inside the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a life bar. So let me stop my game here. And first thing we will need is a sprite to be our life bar. So here on the sprites, I'll click on the plus button. And here we will find two different life bars. We have the big life bar and we have in front there, which where's the other one here, the, the life bar, the regular life bar. So this life bar here, we're going to use for the units because they're smaller and we're going to use the big life bar for the castles. So I'm going to go on my big life bar. Where is it here? Big life bar. I will select this asset and I'll call it a uh, life no, castle, lowercase castle, life bar. So this is the castle's life bar. It's a bit bigger than the regular life bar. So now we need a class to be our life bar class, right? To control the life bar. And although we have two different sprites for the life bar, so we have one life bar for the castle and one life bar for the units, we will control them all with a single class because even though they kind of look different, they behave in the same way, right? So here on the classes, I'll create a new class called life bar. There I go. I have my class life bar here. And the first thing I want to do here is to add the sprite to my class. But as I just said, this class can either have a castle life bar or a unit life bar, right? So I'm not going to add the, the sprite here on the start tab. I'm going to let whoever is going to create the life bar to define its own sprite. So for example, we are adding the life bar to the castle now, right? So let's go inside the castle. And here on the start tab, I'm going to make the castle create its own life bar. And I'm going to call it HP bar. So self dot HP bar is a life bar like that. So whenever I press play, you can see the blue square right in the middle because this life bar doesn't have a sprite, right? So self dot HP bar. So my HP bar will have a sprite that is a new sprite uh, from the image with name. What is it? Castle life bar dot PNG. There you go. So when my castle is created, it will also create its own life bar and set its own life bar sprite to be the castle's life bar .png. So when I press play now, you can see that we have a life bar right in the middle. Now, what I want to do is I want to place this life bar right under my castle, right? And you cannot see here on our game, but we have two life bars here because we have two castles, right? And each castle behaves in this way. When it's created, it has a life and it creates its own life bar. So we have two castles. So they are creating two life bars here. The only problem is because they are being created right in the middle of the screen. So I just want to move them under each of the castles. And I can use a very simple code for that. So here we have the life bar being created. Being created. After I create my life bar, I can say that my self dot HP bar dot X. So the X position of my HP bar will be the same as my X position and self dot HP bar dot Y position will be the same as my Y position. So we have two castles. We have the, the player base and the enemy base. So the player base will bring, will create his own life bar and bring his life bar for the same position as himself. And the same will happen for the enemy base. We'll create his own life bar and bring the life bar to its own position, right? So whenever we press play, you can see that nothing has changed yet because there's something very interesting happening here. 
let's understand what is happening. So here on the game class, let's look at the player base. What happens? So first, we create a player base and we say that it, it is a new castle, right? And later we change this player base position. But what happens is whenever we create the player base, whenever we create a castle, instantly it runs the castle's star tab. So here I create my player base as a new castle. It will run then the star tab. So it will set the castle's life. It will create the life bar and it will set the life bar sprite and then position the life bar or the HP bar on the same position as my castle. But my castle hasn't been uh, repositioned yet. It has just been created. And when we first create the castle, it is right in the middle of the screen. So my life bar is also positioned at the middle of the screen. And then later, once my star tab here on the castle is all red, the code go back and keep going. So after I create my castle, then I position my castle. So then that's the time when the castle is brought to the left, but my life bar was already created and repositioned, right? So it will stay there in the middle forever. So instead of repositioning my life bar here on the star tab, I will take this code out of here. And instead of doing that, we're gonna go to the loop tab and here we are gonna keep repositioning the HP bar to be always in the same position as my castle. So when the star tab runs, my castle is not in the right position yet, but the loop will keep repositioning my, my life bar, right? So this should bring the life bar to the right position of the castle once the castle moves to the left side. So here on the loop tab, I will add that code again. So I'll say that self.hpbar.x will be the same as self.x as my own x and self.hpbar dot y will be the same as self dot y as my own y. I stop and play and then you can see that both castles brought their life bars on the top to the top of itself, right? But what I want to change now is I don't want the life bar to be right on top there. I want the life bar to come down here and here as well. So instead of bringing it to the same y as my castle, I will take 100 pixels from that position. So it's my own Y position minus 100. And this should bring the life bar down there. Now my life bar is under the castles. However, the life bar is still not working because we are not updating the life bar size according to the, to the amount of life that the castle has. So that's the next step. And we are also going to do this here inside the castle uh, on the loop tab. So here, actually first we have to go here on the start tab, because if I want to reposition my life bar according to how much life I have, I have to know what is the maximum life that I can have. So we know that the maximum life is 100 because our castle starts with 100, right? But I'm gonna create a variable for that. So actually I'm gonna create before my life, so I can say that self.maxLife is a hundred. And so here and now we would have a problem if we wanted to change my life. Uh, because if I want, instead of having a hundred life, I want my castle to have 200 life. Then I would have to change my maximum life and my life. Otherwise, if I just change my maximum life, whenever I place, press play in the game, my castle would start with life a hundred. That is half of the maximum life. So I would start with less life than I should. So instead of having the same value here on two places, I can just say that my life will start as self.maxLife. So whatever my maximum life is, whenever the castle is created, its life will be the maximum life. So it will be always filled maximum, right? Now here on the loop tab, we can keep uh, resizing the HP bar to always match the amount of life we have. And how can we do that? That's pretty easy. So we can say here self dot HP bar. So my HP bar dot scale X. So I want to change just the scale on the X axis, right? I don't want to change the scale on the Y axis up and down. I want it just horizontally, right? 
So here, self.hpbar.scaleX will be, so we know that one is the regular size, right? So if I just press play, you can see that it's the regular size. If I put 0 0.5 here, I know it is 0 0.5, it's half of the size. If we have 0 0.1, then it's 10% of the size, right? It's very small life. But how can we make it so it will automatically update to the number we need? So we can use a formula, very simple, that is my life, self.life, divided, so this, this uh, slash here is the divided uh, symbol here in, in programming. And my life divided by my maximum life. So self.life divided by self.max life. And when I have this, this will give me a number between 0 and 1. If my life is very close to 0, then my number will be close to 0, like 0 0.1. If my life is close to the maximum life, then this number will be closer to 1. That is the, the regular size of the of the life bar, right? So 98, for example. So like this, now, if I press play my game, the life bar is constantly updating its size according to its life. So let's see here, I'm gonna spawn a lot of units and we might be able to see the life bar shrinking there. There, can you see the life bar shrinking? Let me create a many troops here at once. And then it will be easier for us to see. So pay attention here in the life bar. Yeah, so it, that's working. Great, so that's great. We can press save. Uh, for our castle, it is also working, but we just cannot see yet because we don't have a enemy unit to give us damage, right? And that's what we're gonna be doing in the next class. So just make sure you press save on your game. And oh, just one more thing, I want to because we don't need anymore to keep seeing the, the the amount of life we have in the console window because we can see it on the screen, right? So I'm going to go to my uh, unit on the loop tab because there, whenever I give damage to my castle, I print the castle's life and I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm just going to delete that code from there. And now we should not be displaying the amount of life my castle has anymore just like on the screen, right? So yeah, that's working. I'm not printing anything anymore. Great, so press save in your game. That's it for today's video. And in the next video, we're gonna start adding the enemy. Bye.